Okay. Let us take few more examples of languages. Assume the language is the language is set of all strings set of all strings or better ways let us sub assume the language is w such that length of w mod 3 is congruent to 2 mod 3 this is one language okay and we have already seen an example of a language where w such that length of w mod 3 is congruent to 0 mod 3 okay over submission is equal to a comma b over submission is equal to a comma b so the first regular expression for the first language is a plus b concatenated with a plus b concatenated with a plus b whole star that means you get strings which is are which are always a multiple of 3 that means the length can be 0 3 6 9 12 and so on here because we have taken a star of uh, three length string so that means it will always be a multiple of 3 or you can see see this star is actually represented like this if this is length 3 then we can say 3 raised to the power n where n can be 0, 1, 2 and so on but here when n is 0 that means it is representing epsilon okay okay so here you can see this one it is saying the length of the string if divided by 3 then the remainder should always be 2 the remainder should always be 2 so what are the possible strengths lengths we can have a string of length 2 we can have a string of length 5, we can have a string of length 8, we can have a string of length 11, we can have a string of length 13 and so on. Or you can say 14 and so on. Okay. And you can see between these lengths, there's a gap of 3. There's a gap of 3. There's a gap of 3. So the strings will be of length 2, 5, 8, 11, 14 and so on. That means we can concatenate a 2 length string with a multiple of 3. Right. That means if I do a plus b dot a plus b string of length 2. And then if we concatenate it with a plus b dot a plus b dot a plus b whole star. This star is only related to this. And this is different. So string of length 2 is concatenated with a string of length 3 and the multiples of 3. So if we can say if star is 1 that means it is string of length 5. Star is 0 it is string of length 2. Star is 2 it is string of length you know uh, 6. Uh, not exactly 3 raised to power n that cannot be represented by 3 raised to power n. So it can be represented by 3n not 3 raised to power n it is 3n. Okay. So it is if the n if n is 0 so this becomes complete string of length 0 so 2 string of length 2 is concatenated with string of length 0 that will give a string of length 2 if n is 1 so this length 2 is concatenated with length 3 so it is length 5 if n is 2 so length 2 is concatenated with length 6 which is 8 length string and so on so this regular expression will be representing a language whose strings if you divide by 3 will always give a remainder which is 2 okay I hope this is fine this is clear now let us suppose the language is starting and ending with same symbol starting and ending with same symbols with same symbols starting and ending with same symbols so if a string is starting with a it should end with a in middle we can have anything if or if a string is starting with b it should end with b or in middle we can get anything and in middle we can get any combination of a's or b's any combinations of a's or b's that means we can have a plus b star we can have a plus b star but from this you can see the minimum length we can get is actually 2 that means if I take star as 0 so this will be representing which a 
this will be representing a b a this will be representing a a a in starting a ending a in middle we can have anything and here minimum length is b b a b a sorry b a b b b b and so on starting is b ending with b in middle we can have anything but the only thing which this is not representing is string of length 1 because if we have a single a then single a is starting with a and ending with a if we have a single b then single b is starting with b and ending with b therefore here we have to do plus a plus b that means if we have single a the single a is starting with a and ending with a if we have a single b the single b is starting with b and ending with b if we have at least length 2 then a a should be there if we have at least length 2 then b b should be there if you have strings of length 3 then a b a can be there a a a can be there we can have b a b can be there b b b can be there and so on okay now if i say the language is starting and ending with the different symbols starting and ending with the different symbols the different symbols can be uh, you know if a, it is starting with a then ending should be b if it is starting with b then ending should be a in middle we can have any combination of a plus b in middle we can have any combination of a plus b right so this is representing a language where st strings are starting and ending with different symbols okay so these are the languages let us uh, take more examples